This first tip I want to share with you is something which I've found to be so, so, so useful, especially when we are in the moment of teaching and a student asks us a question or we can see there's a misconception and we need to go back and do some reteaching to clarify understanding, to unpick those misconceptions and help support our students move forward. So what I tend to do is to build out my deck of PowerPoint slides in one great big deck. So you can see down here, I've got 155 slides here, and this is for the whole of the course. The way I, I prefer to work in that way so that I know I've got all the information I need and I can refer to any particular point as and when. But obviously that means there's a huge amount of content and it might be quite difficult to very quickly retrieve the particular slide, the particular content that I want in order to be able to support the students. So I'm going to go down to slide view here, just click on that icon there and that should bring up my slide presentation. So you can see that I've got uh, Unit 22 here. This is obviously one of my courses. I can add some uh, icons by just moving through the deck here like this. And what, I've, what I would do in this particular case is I would make this overview, this presentation to the students to show everything fits in and they can see the pathway that we might take in order to learn all these bits and pieces. That's okay, that's fine, because that's something I would do right at the beginning of the course. But what about when I'm reviewing? Or what about when a student asks me, so can you, can we recap business models I'm not sure about that or can we quickly go over and have a look at marketing now what I've done in the past and I suspect many people do go right I need to go and find that particular content to help them and support them with this particular piece of knowledge so what I would do is I would have done in the past is I would have pressed the escape button which takes us out of the presentation and then I would scroll down on the left hand side as you can see to the particular slide I was looking for. In this case, it's slide nine. I would select that. I would go back to the icon over there and bring it up. And then we would start by looking at the content. Okay, now that's one way of doing it. And that's fair enough. But there is a much quicker, more efficient way of doing it to quickly get to the content and to support students. Now I mentioned marketing before, didn't I? So let's see how quickly we can find the marketing slide with this new trick. What we're going to do in presentation mode, so as you can see on the screen just now, we click Control and S. So we press Control and S at the same time, which I'm doing now, and that brings up, as you can see, a search for all slides. So you can see here that unit one was my lead slide. I'm on slide nine now, which is the overview of the business models, and all I need to do is just scroll down very quickly and find the marketing, which is slide 13, click on that, go to and straight away then there's marketing and then we can talk about the definitions of seven p's and we can talk about other things that we need to discuss really really simple really efficient i don't have to come out of my presentation view and i can quickly navigate to where i want to go let's just go again control s brings up that search option if i wanted then to look at reviewing the types of private businesses, let's say this is a recap recall um, activity at the beginning of a lesson or at the end of a lesson, I'm just going to click on slide 23, go to, and then there it is, and I might ask them, okay, what does this icon mean? There you go, and we might go through the one or two of those things very, very simply, very, very efficiently. The last thing I just want to quickly share with you with this, is that, of course, in order for us to be able to do this, we need to name the slides. And I will show you how to do that a little bit later on in this section. But just for now, it's important that those slides are named. I mentioned that there are 155 slides in this particular deck, and you can see that I've done the naming for the first 30 odd, but I've still been a bit lazy and I still haven't completed a whole load of those. I've got to do those to make my life much easier, but I just wanted you to know that if you do name them, it's a such a simple and efficient way of quickly navigating to the slide that you want and it doesn't interrupt the learning and you can really, really help support your students in the moment.